Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Been undergoing a lot of changes. A lot of people came to this channel because of my uh, video the first time I set up my big high wall, Rockwood high wall 276 pop up camper. That thing was nice. It had all, I guess you would say, travel trailer amenities. Had like a four burner uh, cook, cooktop stove, a oven, microwave. Uh, air conditioning, heater, of course, a sink. It had a small gray tank, a small black tank, and it had a hard wall uh, bathroom that would fold up. Uh, a wet bath, but uh, still had a toilet, had a shower. Never bothered to use the shower. But you know, that thing was a pig. It was huge. It weighed like 3,500 pounds. It had a king size bed slide out on one end, a queen size on the other end. And uh, it was nice if you were doing a week or something like that, you know, and hooked up to uh, full utilities. But we were mostly weekend warriors. And uh, it was just a lot of work. I never really liked towing it. Uh, first thing I'd ever towed. So I was always a little anxious about towing. So. Since I made that video, been undergoing a lot of life changes. So I got rid of that pop up. I uh, uh, last fall would have been uh, fall of 2020. I tried selling it, trading it, consigning it, and uh, nobody would give me even what I owed on it, even though it was a 2019. And I was a little discouraged by that. But come January. A new camping world opened up close to me and say what you want about camping world but uh, I sent them a request and they sent me a pretty good deal like uh, $2,500 more if I just sold it and maybe I don't know 3,000 more if I consigned it um, I opted to just sell it it was January who knew how long it would sit there so uh, yeah I got it paid off and you know got a little extra something from my pocket so here it is early April 2021 I've got a new concept in camping and uh, with some of the changes I've undergone in my life uh, I'll maybe dive into those a little bit more in a later video but uh, I wanted to show you my new pop-up camper it's light it's small I like it so far today I've set it up like three times but today's gonna be really the first time I've ever slept in it so I'm pretty excited to do that uh, I feel like this really opens up a whole uh, new world of camping for me and ease, uh, the sites I can get into, and this is the first time I've been at this site. I've been to this state park a couple times, and this here is my new favorite site, and I'll pan around and show you why. Uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, let me uh, get off my rear end here, and I will show you the new uh, pop-up uh, camper that I got. and. Uh, it, it tows like a dream. You don't even know it's there, except for sometimes there's some dragging, clunking sounds, and uh, we'll figure that out. But uh, let me show you. Okay, so let's pan around, and I will show you my new pop-up camper. Ready? Crap, where'd it go? Somebody took it. Ah, there it is. That, my friends, is a gazelle hub tent. And sorry if it was clickbait saying calling it a pop-up camper, but I'm going to set it up in real time and uh, just let you watch without speeding up the video. And uh, it's pretty breezy out here today, um, so by myself that might make it a tiny, tiny bit challenging, but this thing is cool, guys. And uh, then I'll show you what my interior setup will be too. Okay, so I'm going to set this down. Fly. Stakes. 
pop-up camper. Five. And now we'll pop it up. That's it. So how easy is that? That's like three, four minutes by myself. Half of that time was spent trying to get it right on my tarp. Uh, as you can imagine, two people, it's easy. This thing's great. Uh, you can stand up inside. It's got two doors. Maybe too dark in here. Of course, the doors fold back. But uh, there's the roof. This dude here, this dude here becomes a, uh, a little gear loft. And this is the thing, you just, uh, you just push up on this and the bars, just like any other tent, are already embedded. But they all go to one of these hubs. And you got a window on every corner. You got a door there, got a door there. You got these big... Uh, gear lofts here that big dark triangle that's all for shoving coats and stuff in and then every wall has a big big pocket and uh, gazelle sells what they call a footprint so I wouldn't have had to mess with the tarp but they're like 50 bucks 54 bucks and uh, what I did I always use a footprint but I also want something inside to protect my tent floor because if I camp, I'm having a cot, a chair, you know, one of my camp boxes, maybe a cooler in there. So I thought, well, I could get two footprints, you know, 110 bucks. Well, for seven bucks, I bought a Walmart tarp. Uh, I believe the inside is 94 by 94 inches. 
and uh, I'm five foot nine, and as you can see, I was standing up in there with no problem. Well, five foot eight, five foot nine, depending on which mug shot you're looking at. But uh, I just uh, I tried folding this, taped it off with some white duct tape, just to mark it that that's my floor tarp, and uh, I'll get it set up the rest of the way. But man, look at this campsite. There's a little creek that runs down through here. Nobody else around. Look at that. I may go hike up there just to see what I can see. The rest of the campground is like out over there. And uh, two picnic tables, fire ring. Now, <laughs> I didn't know it was this far back when I scoped out this camp site. Uh, you can see my car way out there it's about 60 yards so uh you know got most of my gear here got the heavy stuff anyway so but i don't like being right on top of people and there's one camper a guy in a hammock i'm guessing he's trying out his hammock for hiking somewhere but that's all the back is back in these uh non-electric tent sites so so let me get the interior set up and uh, i'll show you what that looks like all right so there it is, stake down. Uh, there's also stakes in the middle. I'm not gonna worry about those today. It's fairly windy and uh, the winds might pick up tonight, but as you can see, I'm pretty sheltered here compared to uh, out there at the rest of the campground. So one caveat about this is because it's got this, this tension pulled out and it's kind of spring loaded. If you get a direct wind, and it's got to be a pretty significant direct wind, then this can happen. Boom. It goes in like that. So I would think if you're inside, you can just push it out. And the roof is made the same as these. So my thought is, if I'm ever camping and expecting snow, I'd get some kind of like an elephant pole or something that I could adjust up on the roof to hold it up. Uh, but of course, you just got to pop it back out and they do give you these tie points and uh, some lanyards and stakes to uh, tie down the four corners. So that problem is resolved. So here we go. Hopefully there's enough light. I got the windows open. Again, you can see how tall it is in here. Uh, right now I'm standing in the middle and gosh, I bet there's at least a foot above my head. Um, that is a Coleman large cot, 80 by 32. Now you have to pull it away from the walls because the walls do come in a little bit from the floor and the floor is I think 94 by 94. But I got my food camp box, I got my Jackery 500, I got room for a chair, my little buddy heater in case I need it tonight. Um, you could certainly move stuff over and put it in a port, put in a porta potty, which uh, uh, if I'm doing a couple day thing, I would certainly do that instead of using the pit toilets. So when they send this to you, the normal package you get these aluminum stakes and they give you plenty of them they give you lanyards but these things are going to bend if you've seen other videos they're going to bend i already had a bunch of these this is like my fourth tent now and uh these are like 99 cents at walmart i believe and uh they've held up really good for me so that's what i use and if i need extra stakes i'll use those for the the sides or something like that gazelle does offer a i think they call it an overland package same tent um, but I think it comes with the uh, the exterior uh, footprint. It comes with heavier duty or stakes and also a heavy duty or a little bit larger bag that is more waterproof. That way you could in theory put it up on your roof. And uh, that's, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks extra. I didn't go for that option. And uh, there it is. We'll see how it is to sleep in it. Now I will say a couple weeks ago, we would had a big snowfall here in Ohio, and we had eight inches of snow on the ground. Uh, so me and my buddy, Tristan, we came out here, and we were in one of the slots out there. And uh, he had uh, poor boots, feet got wet and cold, never really recovered from that. But the weather forecast was calling for like an inch of rain that night. So we got to dark supper time, uh, eight inches of snow, and like an inch of rain overnight, we bailed out. Uh, but uh, so this will be my first night really sleeping in it. So, so that's the gazelle slash Eric's new pop-up. And uh, I hope to get a lot more camping in this summer. 
kind of intend right now to visit a lot of different state parks and stuff and just see this is kind of an experiment test for me to see what gear I really need I, I brought a lot I like to be comfortable at least at night so uh, it's supposed to get down to like 42 44 tonight not quite cold weather camping cool weather I guess and uh, last uh, time when we had all that snow about supper time we came into the tent put on our little uh, my buddy heater and man, I tell you what, in about five minutes, that tent was nice and snuggly. I was laying around just my silks, no socks, on top of my sleeping bag, and I was plenty warm. So I think it'll do fine when it gets really cold out, too. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. Maybe watch some of our other videos. Of course, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, happy camping. Maybe we'll see you out there.